Last time I uh, do my trip in the Whit Sundays. My last time at Whitehaven Beach, my last time walking along this uh, boardwalk, and yeah, gonna miss it, not gonna lie. So, I've been working on boats in the Whit Sundays for four months, four months now. And this is my very last trip. I'm going next week to Melbourne for a festival, um, Easter weekend, going to a festival called Deck Mantel, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, me and some girls that I met for New Year are going together. So I'm really excited for that. I'll be in Melbourne for six days and then I'm going to South, not South America, Central America. Um, and I've never really been to that part of the world before. So yeah. Excited to experience new cultures, taste new food, meet lots of interesting people and, you know, just explore that part of the world, improve on my Spanish speaking skills as well. Um, I want to be able to speak good, excellent to fluent while I'm there and like learn, pick it up. So yeah, it's going to be a big chapter for me, but it means that this is my last trip in the Whit Sunday. So, hmm. I think I am coming back though in September, so it's not all, um, it's not all sad. Work's offered to sponsor me if I train to be a skipper. So it looks like I'll be coming back and that means that I can get permanent residency in Australia. So yeah, stay tuned. Looks like the battery's dying on my radio, but I think I have enough to radio the boat. Oh, that's good. I'm stuck. Hey, my radio's just died. Can I borrow yours, please? Yeah. You're in channel eight already? Yeah. Oh, can you, um... oh yeah, I'll just use it. Yeah, can we go to the top? Yeah, for sure, thanks. Thank you. This is gonna cause interference. Wet Sunday blue, wet Sunday blue, wet Sunday blue. This is shore party, shore party, shore party. I'll be all right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Great. So I just tried to use someone else's radio and Dave's not picking up, which means I'm gonna try and get a lift from another tender. I'm gonna hitchhike, hitchhike to the boat. Better than swimming.
I'm stuck on Whitehaven Island. I can't get hold of Dave. I tried um, using the other tour guides' radios, and I'm sure we're on Channel 8, but Dave's not picking up. <laughs> so one of the other um, crew are gonna take me over in their tender. And uh, stranded. So this red tender from Camira, I think is able to take me back to my boat, which is just behind that rock. <laughs> yeah, I made it back to the boat. Dave is well and alive, he's not dead. Um, Kobe from Camira gave me a lift on the tender and yes, I'm here. Dave was cha on channel 8 and that's what I was calling from, but he said he didn't hear anything. <laughs> Maybe he needs to get his hearing tested. I thought maybe he was playing a prank on me because it's my last trip. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna pick you up, so let's see how long you uh, stay on Whitsunday Sunday Island for. <laughs> So we just went for a snorkel in Peter Bay on Hook Island in the Whit Sundays. Mm, it was okay. Um, I'm just I don't know. It's not as hot today, and I couldn't. It's not like a deep area. I like diving deep. Mm. But yeah, still enjoy it every time. And it looks like my mask is too tight. But also when it's not, it leaks. I need to get my own mask. Now, ah, stuck. Now I am boiling the kettle and it is time to have some tea and coffee. I don't know what it is. Good morning! We're currently at a place called Manta Ray Bay, which is at the top of Hook Island, and we're going to feed the fish. I've just got up some salmon. I've got loads because we had some passengers that didn't come onto the boat. Um, hmm. Yes, yeah, so let me show you what the bait looks like. We're going to feed the fish, they're giant. So there's this fish called George, which is a giant Maori wrasse. And like, he's a local celebrity, everyone loves him. He's huge. Um, and then there's another giant Trevally fish that we've named Spike, because he looks like a little shark, but he's not. Expect him with the backpack, looking out the backpack. So, uh, <laughs> so this is Manta Ray Bay. Look, you can see the fish already coming up. Hello. This is a batfish. And then you can see the giant trolley there, there's Spike. Another batfish there. Yeah, these fish are huge.
Okay. Um, the real big black ones, you'll be about this long. Yeah, he's black. Called a giant trevally, he will not hurt you. Don't judge a book by its cover. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to have the fish come up to us, like I say. Hopefully, we have another one called a hump headed Maori wrasse come up to us. He's actually pretty big as well. So you guys are ready. Come around. Sort of the plan. <laughs> Is that a spike already? See the fish from right here. Oh my god! Amazing. Spike. Look, look, this is Spike. Wow. Hello. I don't know it's the same one. Dunno. <laughs>
look at the doctors. <laughs> so, well, hang on, should I just take this blue one off? Because I don't like it. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, thanks. Don't like that blue one. This one is sentimental, so I feel like I should keep it. Yes, the only picture is she had the first day of the summer. 